Yo, what's going on guys? It's Adonis and this is my first in a very, very, very long time kind of reaction and review of The Flash. And this is going to be a dope episode. Last episode we had um, Savitar, the god of speed, show up. So let's watch this episode, get my reactions, and let's get a recap in. Let's do it. Joe's getting in that ass right now, dog. Nope, you can't shoot a transformer, dog. Don't work. Whew. Oh, that's, oh, oh shit. Damn. Fuck. I don't understand, the suit's tracker must be malfunctioning. It's like <laughs> appearing and reappearing all over the city at once. That's impossible. This dude is a beast. Bruh. Oh shit. Nope. No, no, oh fuck. Oh. I knew You're it, right. I knew it. You Metapod, know. it's turning into Butterfree. None of us know. My gut is telling me I need to do something. You go do something, Joe, you be somebody, man. Yeah. Something ain't right. Where is alchemy? Oh shit. Proper notion. Oh, great. More suggestions from the genius over here. You don't call the genius, the genius calls you. <gasps> Question. If you find her, I won't call you. You've done enough. Fuck. Damn. Killer Frost. He. Oh, shit. Fuck. Giving them them goods, girl. I know you don't want to be the leader right now, but you have to be. Smack, let's go. Fuck. This is bad news, guys. Something's going down. Killer Frost, I want to see some killing. You want to be the villain. This is what they do. They kill their friends because nothing matters to them anymore, right? I'm very got some balls right now, son. Barry Allen has no place in law enforcement. Damn. Only together can we bring about my return. He's Dr. Alchemy. He has to be. He has to be. Become my servant once more. I knew it! I, I knew it! I knew it, though. I knew it. I knew it, though. I knew it, dog. Okay, guys. So, man, this episode was so dope. Now they're really doing a really good job. I feel this season with these kind of dual arcs in an episode or over a couple of episodes going on at the same time, um, and I feel like one isn't overpowering another. Um, especially now with Caitlyn Snow. So it's not just her powers and, you know, her having abilities and knowing what she can do with them that makes her evil. It's the power itself that's actually turning her thought process and, you know, her physiology and the way she approaches things, you know, in a negative connotation. It's crazy how they're, how they're you know, kind of painting this picture of Killer Frost. And within that, you have, you know, Caitlyn coming out and just kind of verbal diarying everything about what Barry had told her in private about, you know, what happened with Cisco's brother, how he was alive in his timeline. And that completely turned Cisco super sour against Barry. And he's like, look, dude, like, I don't even know if I could, if I could be your friend like right now. Like, and it's, Oh, it, it sucks, but it's good. Like it's adding grit to the to the series. Um, and at the same time, like you want them to kind of fix it, but you know it's a difficult thing to fix. And I'm glad they're not making light of it. Like, oh yeah, man, you know we're good. Yeah, like I'm glad they're taking the time with Cisco and his brothers. You know, death serious. Now, Savitar, fuck. Even though we didn't see him uh, you know, in the entire episode, besides the beginning and the end, this dude is a beast he is super beast i mean he was he was doing what zoom did to barry on like another level like this dude was all over the city and it was it was dope to see from you know the team's perspective as they track the speed where he's actually at and he's like nobody can move this fast like 
it just shows the level and the difference of ability between the Savitar and Barry. And right now, Barry's not there. And it was just dope too. He was like, have you had enough? And Barry got cocky. No, not even. And then he gets his ass beat, like literally on some DBZ shit. Like Barry goes and tries to attack him. And as he's doing it, he gets hit from the side. I was like, yo, this dude is kicking your ass right now. And then we have Wally in this cocoon looking like you know, Metapod, and I was like, look, bro, this is not a good look for you. And then Joe comes in trying to be Captain save -a cuts him out, and then he's all over the place. Um, it was it was dope how they set these little stories within the story. Um, it was such a good episode. And like half the time I was just trying to consume, I'm like captivated on like how they're telling the story and the emotional, you know, strings they're pulling in this episode. Like it was, it was exciting, it was you know, it was sad at times, it was painful. Um, it was so good, it was such a good episode. But going back to Julian, I had said this in the very first episode of Alchemy showed up, that because they shared a part of their name that he would be Dr. Alchemy, that he is Dr. Alchemy. And I was actually saying before, I was like, he's he's gotta be him. Like there's a possibility this could be Dr. Alchemy. And guess what? He's Dr. Alchemy. Now, I'm not saying I'm a great prognosticator. What I am saying is that was one theory that I got right, faux show. Sure. So now a couple of things that, you know, looking forward, what are we looking at? So obviously Savitar, they're trying to bring him back to life. So he's dead, I guess. So he doesn't have a physical body in like the living plane, like you can't see him. Um, so I'm assuming that's what they're talking about. Maybe that's why he looks like Megatron, I don't know. Um, so we don't really know what that looks like yet. Um, two, we don't know what Caitlyn Snow is going to do, what her, you know, what her arc is going to look like. Is she going to keep those bands on and kind of, you know, reduce that killer frost inside of her? Is she going to be able to control it? Um, who knows? Then we have Cisco. What's going on with Cisco? Is, is he going to still be on the team? Is he going to be like, look, man, you know, I'll help you guys, but I'm, I can't be around you anymore like that. Like what's going to happen with him? Like, I don't feel like he's going to stick around in the same you know, in the same space as he is at the moment um, or has been in the past. I think he's probably gonna separate himself from the team for a while, potentially. It may not be forever, but it could be potential. Now, finally, Wally West. Now, this is the interesting thing. This is one of my theories, okay? Hear me out. So my theory is I wonder if they're gonna make him into the Daniel West character, that reverse Flash from Earth Prime. Now, this could be something really dope instead of just having the regular Wally West as a kid Flash that they have a evil Flash, a reverse Flash that was a part of their family, a part of their you know friendship um, that is now evil. So I'm not 100% sure if you know they're gonna go that route. They could. The colors of the cocoon looked like that reverse Flash. He kind of has that red and black look to him. So that could be a potential future for this version of Wally West. And still, we still don't know what's going on with HR. He's having these really good ideas about what, you know, how to help and things like that. And he's getting them to think kind of in that visionary thing he was talking about. Like he was a visionary, kind of like the Steve Jobs of the operation. And he had all these other scientists and people around him to kind of bring those things to fruition. So I'm not 100% sure where he's gonna go. Um, I'm still waiting for Cisco to vibe him to see exactly what HR is doing there. But surprisingly, one of the best parts about this episode though was Iris. I felt like she was a solid rock for Barry. It wasn't like the girlfriend on the side saying, oh babe, it's okay. It really felt like she was actually helping him become better, especially when he needed to kind of bring Caitlyn back from Killer Frost. He really got some balls from that, you know, kind of interaction that they had prior to him walking in there. But those are my thoughts on the episode, guys. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Flash episode seven. I really, really enjoyed this episode, but I would really like to know what your guys' thoughts are. If you guys like this reaction and recap of this episode and you would like me to do more things like this, let me know in the comment section below and hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. You wanna hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna check out my last Flash recap video, link will be right here. All right guys, till next time, see you later.